Many of today's health problems can be traced to a poor diet. A school garden is a great way to get kids involved in growing their own food from an early age, so they gain a real appreciation of where fresh food comes from and how delicious it can be. Now, this is my daughter Isla, and today we're in the garden at her preschool. Isla? In this video, we will show you how to make a school garden. School gardens offer children the chance to get involved in growing food, a skill that will last them a lifetime. School gardens are a great teaching resource too, with many opportunities to link into the school curriculum. While it's great to have a final vision for your garden, the most important advice is to start small. Containers and larger planters are very manageable, and you can grow just about anything in them. Containers allow you to create an almost immediate impact anywhere at minimal cost. Raised beds are excellent because they clearly delineate the growing areas, making it less likely that precious seedlings will be accidentally trampled. Place them directly onto soil or first lay down a membrane if you're growing on contaminated soil or a hard surface such as a concrete yard. Fill the beds with nutrient-rich potting soil and compost. Beds shouldn't be any wider than 3 foot or 90 centimetres across, so the children can easily reach the middle from the sides. Wood chips are a good choice for the paths in between, as they're relatively clean and soft. If your garden is going to be a little more than a few raised beds, then why not get the kids involved in the design process? Ask them to make sketches, or put together a mood board of what they'd like to see. They could even make their own design on a computer. Our online garden planner is child's play to use. Dropping garden objects such as paths, raised beds, compost bins and bean wigwams, then have fun adding the plants. Clicking on the information buttons brings up growing tips, along with suggestions for suitable companions to grow nearby. Children are far more likely to eat fruits and vegetables they've grown themselves, a great reason to get them involved in the process. Choose crops that are robust, easy to grow and crucially ready to harvest during the term time. School garden staples include peas and beans. Children love sowing the fat seeds, setting up supports and, of course, picking the pods. Potatoes are fun to sprout before planting into potato sacks or beds. They'll love the hands-on growing process and unearthing the potatoes, nature's very own treasure hunt. Winter squash and pumpkins can be planted out at the end of spring and will be nearing maturity when the children return from their summer break. How about a pumpkin carving competition? Salads such as lettuce leaves and radishes are quick growing and will keep youngsters engaged. They're also perfect for growing in pots to take home. Kid-friendly fruits include strawberries in raised beds and planters, plus all manner of fruit trees for an autumn harvest. Flowers help to attract bees, butterflies and other wildlife into the garden. Children will love the splash of colour they give too. Annual flowers are quick growing and should start blooming before the summer break, Think marigolds, nasturtiums, zinnias and more. Don't forget herbs, many of which have beautiful bee-friendly flowers. The Garden Planner is a great tool for choosing school garden friendly plants. Simply click on the custom filter button, then select the easy to grow option to narrow down your selection. You can also use the sow, plant or harvest filters to select crops that can be grown and harvested during the months the children will be at school. Click OK and the plant selection bar will be filtered accordingly, making decisions a lot simpler. School gardens can teach children the importance of caring for the environment and how nature works to feed us. Include a compost bin in your plan to show how old plants turn back into lovely, nutrient-rich organic matter to feed the soil. A rainwater barrel will demonstrate how to collect and make the most of precious water while bug hotels and miniature ponds will draw even more wildlife in to study and admire. Make sure there's somewhere to sit during break times or outdoor lessons, in the shade or sun, depending on your climate. Potting benches or tables are useful if you want to sow or plant up outside of the classroom. And of course, you'll need a shed for storing your tools and equipment. School gardens are more complicated to look after than a home garden. Make it clear from the start who is responsible for what? Who will water the garden in dry weather? How will you order new seeds and potting soil? And what about when everyone's off for the holidays? Starting small and getting systems in place from the beginning will build a strong foundation for a successful garden. 
teach the little ones to grow and they will grow up with a healthier attitude to food and a real love of wildlife in the great outdoors. Now if you run a school garden we'd love to hear from you. Please share your experiences and advice in the comments section below and if you're not yet subscribed make sure you do so before you head off. In the meantime we'll catch you next time.